Oh, it was Power here with, as you can read the title, I'm actually doing it because I never did it. <laughs> because the, because, um, I was supposed to do it with the zero, well, this is the zero two driver, but I was supposed to do it with the zero one driver, but I just ended up giving its title. <laughs> because, again, if you recall, I said in that, um, video that I wanted to do, like, I was going to initially call it, like, Power's Mysterious Unboxing. But I just ended up just calling it the DX Eden Zero One Driver Opening. So, because, obviously, like, 5th Anniversary stuff, um, I wanted to actually be truthful and actually do a mysterious box. <laughs> or mysterious op opening. Or unboxing, I meant. Just because... I don't know, I think it is kind of fun just to like not actually tell people what I got <laughs> until the video. Although like, it's mostly going to be the audience here that's actually going to be aware because Twitter audience doesn't care. Um, like, you know, I dropped the fact that I got the Sengoku driver in July, but no one cared. <laughs> so. Which, again, I'll just, you know, the unboxing of, the opening of this should be out soon, but. But yeah, that was fun to, like, keep hidden for, like, three months. <laughs> so, this is how this went. Okay, so, I'll be honest and say, like, this is not how exactly, you know, it originally goes. This is bothering me. I really want a new backdrop. I had this one for like two years, but obviously I can't go out. Uh, so, if you guys recall from my unboxing from 2017, like it's literally just called Power Riders April Unboxing. Um, that entire, like those two boxes were like complete, I was completely like, unaware of like because my sister told me that like oh yeah i got you stuff but she didn't tell me what they were she like made me guess what they were because she was like that or she's still kind of like that um although like if i had to be honest like i knew what it was there because obviously i was like okay she probably got the cheap stuff which i was right because then she got me the rest of the shift car sets then she got me the solo and almond plushes and she still like regrets it because she's like how could you make me like how dare you make me pay thirty five dollars for a plush I'm like I didn't ask you <laughs> like you're the one that didn't wait and got it for Amazon price gosh why did Alma have to be the most expensive plush anyways um as I plugged it in. So. I guess. These. Mysterious. Packages. Are all from Amazon. But. Um, the theme. Of them. Is that they're dumb. <laughs> so. I got the smaller one. But this one is actually not. This one is actually not a part of this. This one I actually generally got because, um, of stuff. So, I'll just open this one up first just because. This one is actually kind of cool. I need a new exacto knife, too. I had this one for like. Se I had this one since 2017, I believe. <laughs> I just want a blue one, but then, like, at the time we got this, we didn't, they didn't have it, but then, like, after we visited them, I think it was Joanne's, they didn't have them at the time, but then, like, I think that next time we visited them, they did. Okay, I have to make sure I didn't break it. <laughs> okay, so, thanks to, um... 
my good friend Josh, I asked him for to link this to me because I saw Dry show this off in the streets. Because like initially I was planning on this, but then I was like, eh, I might just stick with like something like. I might just stick something like with the Rube Crystals, uh, even though this is a card holder. Like, this is this is what I use for my Rube Crystals and such. So I was like, yeah, I might just do something like this with the metals. But then, Ride showed off that you can... How does this work? Wait. Oh, is this the top? <laughs> okay, so it, it works like this. This is nice too, because I know this is a poker chip case, but Blade's one of my favorite series too, so this is appreciated. Um, wait, I thought there was some plastic and such, I don't know. So basically, uh, one of the cool things with this is that you can take your Axis card and actually slot it in there. <laughs> so. Well, yeah, I did break it. Oh, well. <laughs> so, um, yeah, you can take your access card and, like, slot it in here. I still have these two sets, um, not open just because I'm still waiting on getting the other medals. But, um... That's difficult because obviously, like, they're getting sold out. Gama Future and I think Legend Set 1 are sold out on Hobby Search. The only place that actually has them is Amazon Japan, but Zreikin refuses to order anything off of Amazon Japan now um, because our bank, or his bank, I still don't have a bank account. I only have a savings, my account's locked. <laughs> so. Basically, it's because our bank is, like, pretty protective. So, like, basically, they like, whenever we actually, like, whenever you actually pay with, like, debit, I believe, like, directly from them, they'll always call and, like, be like, oh, you're, this is, like, suspicious activity. And, like, you basically it's like, no, it's not. And they're like, oh, okay. And so I can, it's, like, pretty tired of that. So I can't get anything off of Amazon Japan anymore. And that frustrates me because it's like there's literally things I still need to get, and like even Zarkin's like, yeah, even though there's still things you need, uh, no. <laughs> so I think what I'm gonna have to do is that we're just gonna get it through it by. Um. So yeah. Uh. So I don't really plan. Obviously, what I plan on doing is that I'm going to have a whole, all of Harky's medals in here. So, just for, like, example, you can, like, you can, like, you know, take these and such. And, yeah. Um, that should work. I think... I don't know how I'm going to separate it, if I have to be honest. Just because, um... You know. Like... Typically, the way I sorted my, um... Root crystals were kind of by sets. Because, obviously, like, the root clutch... The root crystal case... Excuse me, the case holder. Oh, it's, I thought I put it back up, but the case holder. Well, obviously with like this, uh, you know, I had like Ord Space and Zaperion, then I had whatever was left out of set one, then set two, and then set three. I yeah, this is Horde Boris and Hikari, and then like obviously I didn't. I think I had like these two as the sets and then I just overlaid whatever I had left 
So obviously because I didn't have enough room for set five or set four. Set five. Uh, I just put Virgil King here and then Generation Heroes are here. This is literally like this is literally like um Shokugan set two and then some extras. Uh and then obviously Ultra Father was the previous crystal I got. I need like three more root crystals. Uh I don't know why I went so for one in the loop. I think it's because I couldn't I couldn't get Geo at the time. Uh, so I need Grand King Megalos Ultra Heroes Festival and Merry Christmas. I can get Ultra Heroes Festival and Merry Christmas off of Bai via Mercado. Or Mercari. I don't know. But Grand King Megalos is for some reason the most difficult. Uh, which I again as I say before, I want that metal. Or I I want that crystal just so that I can actually finally review the Saki Rub Jar. Um but but then other than that, like yes, I'm aware there's like other ultras, but then that those are just ultra hero or ultra kaiju. Um but with this, um I can actually have a place to put the cards. Um just because I need that. Although for now I'm still gonna keep this in here. And I'm just gonna have to deal with this crack. <laughs> uh, it's not as bad as I saw in some reviews. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, oops. Eh, I don't. It's gonna be a hassle getting a refund because Dragon's not really the type to try to go through that. And that's also because I ruined the plastic. So. It was like $13. So it's not that bad. Um. I got. I think I got this card holder for like ten dollars, I believe, around the same price as that. I want to say. So. Yeah. Anyways, um, I spent like I don't know a long amount of time on that thing, even though that thing isn't even the main item. <laughs> that thing, like that thing, I I'm gonna reveal because it's just like you know, it's not. One of the mystery items. It was a thing I actually genuinely wanted. And pretty psyched to have. Let's cut away to the second one. <laughs> Just look at how long this package is. <laughs> I'm actually surprised. Well, I don't know what happened to my brightness. But I'm actually surprised that these were individual packages. If I had to be honest. Like, I'm actually surprised of Amazon, because I would have actually expected them to, like, ship it in the same box, but I guess they actually cared. <laughs> but... And they actually seem to use, be using normal tape. It's like, yeah, honestly, I wouldn't expect them to use a mailer, because it's just like, how the heck are you supposed to mail this? But, um, when I was trying to sneak these out, I failed. So my sister like called me and like, she was right there and like she opened like, death like the door and like she just saw this long box and was like what the heck is that and I just I, I just didn't say anything but this thing is pretty dumb if I can actually close this up you know, I was actually expecting this one to be one of the more fast-paced unboxings, but it's not. Wow, it's actually packaged. <laughs> wow, there's actually paper.
You want to make a guess what this is? What the heck happened to my thing? <laughs> Three, two, one. What the heck, Amazon? You overdid it. <laughs> I'm sorry for showing my feet. <laughs> Yep, um, I got this dumb sword. <laughs> I, I, like what I said, um, despite how stupid it was, I was gonna get it. And <laughs> Zorikin, like, I, I, um, sent this to Zorikin a month ago, because I was, like, contemplating it, I'm like, huh, do I really want this thing? Or, like, honestly, I was, like, obviously I wanted it, but I was like, do I want to get it now? And, like, Zorikin was just like, oh, whoops. So I can, I was like, what the heck is this? <laughs> and then like, and so like, I had to explain how dumb it was to him, but then like, he watched one review, it's pretty obvious who it was. <laughs> and he was just like, uh, maybe later. <laughs> and yeah, but obviously, cause again, birthday month so I'm just like okay look cuz as I'll explain in like a later part or whatever um well obviously this time around I guess I'll say like this time around I just want to do I want to get dumb stuff <laughs> and I'm so excited to have this dumb story um I'm aware this is a toy that would, like, that would clearly be on the clearance <laughs> section. And yeah, I got it for $20. Um, yeah, so I'm, we're just stuck with some kid. Here's the Beast X King Ultra Zord. That's not even relevant. And there's no Ranger or anything. Um, but, yeah, um, <sighs> well, that was, um, depressing, um, so, yep, here's mystery package two. I wonder what this could be. Uh, even though for me it's going to be weird recording this. Or, see, the thing with this one is that it's going to be weird because at this point, part two is not out. <laughs> so it's just like... If you couldn't tell from my clue that I put up on Twitter, um, what the heck? <laughs> it's a small. <laughs> well, <laughs> is that why Zarkin told me to check if it's the right size? Huh, that's really weird. But. <laughs> Good thing I didn't rip the packaging that badly. Um, huh. How am I supposed to, like, explain this on Twitter? <laughs> like, do I say- I can't- I can't say, like... Do I fake to Twitter that I got it? Or do I just say, like... Okay, uh, number two... Had a significant issue. 
And I'm going to work on that, or I'm going to try to work on that. But the issue is that... So we have to return it to Coles. But that's dangerous. <laughs> so... I don't know what we're supposed to do. <laughs> um... <laughs> Is Draken know that it was in the wrong size and that's why he told me or was he just telling me just because because I thought it was weird that he was telling me oh yeah make sure it's the right size I'm like well of course it's gonna be I guess that's why this felt a little lighter but well that was kind of anticlimactic because I was going to be like, I was going to explain everything and such. <laughs> I guess I might as well explain. Um, initially, I was actually going to go for the Gaim shirt, but then I was like, eh, I might as well just go for this three generation one just because it's it's neat. Um, Because I just want... You know, I want a shirt that represents all three arrows. Because then I'll dive into, like, the solo ones. Um, but... <laughs> um, yeah, so this will... I'll put this in my room whenever I can. <laughs> so... Um, okay then. Well, I might as well just talk about the Beast X King Saber. King Spin Saber. Um, so, yeah, I obviously I've been playing the heck out of this for a few days to the point my wrist actually hurts. Um, although, um, I think I'm more like. I guess because I'm, I've been playing with it ever since I got it. I've been wearing the toy out really quickly, um, because the spinning is like it doesn't. Oh, okay. So that's been doing well, but um, obviously, the thing with this is that I've been because I've been wearing it out as I mentioned. Because you can see like all the plastic, like, access, <laughs> like on the side and such. So, I was going to try to clean that out by unscrewing this. But I realized, unscrewing this toy doesn't do anything because it's super glued together. <laughs> Um, where's a good point I can actually show the glue? Oh yeah, back here. You can obviously tell from here that it was super glued. <laughs> and I thought by unscrewing this area, I can get, you know, like, take this plate off. I couldn't. Um, without potentially snapping the toy. So I was like, okay, maybe I'll go deeper and like unscrew the handle. I can't because, again, the seam is most likely from like down here. Um, I can't really find the seam, <laughs> which is the issue, because I feel like the seam might be from this section, I or this section at least, I thought it would have been up here. But then this section, it's really difficult because I thought like unscrewing this whole, whole entire section would just give me that, but no. Because <laughs> I feel like when you unscrew these, you have to essentially snap these off. And I don't want to do that because I don't want to break a toy I just got. <laughs> 
Uh, the fastest toy I've broken was the shot riser. Because <laughs> obviously, like, if anyone is aware, this one is my second shot riser. <laughs> so, oh my god. <laughs> so, um, like, it's still fine and such. I just, I just want to clean this access. So, yeah. Um, this, however, <laughs> uh, I was there with Striken, obviously, and he did pick extra large because he was kind of like. Um, when I asked for stuff on Amazon, he was kind of like, uh, <laughs> so like, um, currently right now, Beast X King Red is up. So, but do I want to stay up until four for him? Or like, do I want to stay up until three for him to come back? I don't even know how long the Beast X King Red will be up. Um, if I actually do get him within the time of, like, the video, then, yeah, I'll, I'll throw him in. <laughs> um, because then I'll probably throw in something else, too, because, again, it, I think it says, like, over $25 and, like, make shipping, like, free. So I do have something else in mind, but it's related to the last one, but. Yeah, uh. We definitely need to situate that, so. <laughs> I'm gonna end the video early because I was gonna cut to me wearing it but I, I can't um te technically I am supposed to just wear large but I wear a size larger so yeah <laughs> here's new number two um <laughs> so yeah um this one was weird because when Zarkin and I did try to you know, do the process and such. I don't know if he picked the right option, or, like, the correct option, but, like, apparently, like, I think he chose, to like, a refund and such, and then he typed in, like, size too small or something like that, and then, like, Amazon was just like, oh, yeah, here's a full refund. And for some reason, keep the shirt. And it's just, like, what? <laughs> it's just like, no, like, aren't aren't we supposed to like go to a Kohl's and like drop it somewhere and leave? Even though I haven't been, I haven't been to a store in like several months. I haven't. The last time I went shopping was like in May, because everything else is just all my mom, uh, which makes sense. Um, but I haven't been to a store in a while. So, but it's just like, are, are you sure we're not supposed to exchange it? Like, what are we supposed to do with this, like, what are we supposed to do with this shirt that's, like, small? And, like, Zarekin was like, well, I don't know what we're going to do with it. And now he just suggested, like, let's just give it to someone. <laughs> like, I know you can't trust people at this point, but, like... We're at a point that we can't trust people, but, like, like, I guess the way I see it is that if you've been, like, obviously if you have, like, household members, then obviously you can trust them, but if you, like, I guess this is my stupid way of seeing it, you see, like, people on social media, like, clearly saying they're fine, then it's fine, but obviously if you're, like, obviously to, like, other people that haven't seen in a while and such, you kind of can't really trust them, so, <laughs> yeah, um, but, yeah, so, we got a full refund and such, so, I, Zarek and I were like, I, I, or I was like, I guess we have to buy it again, which doesn't make sense, because you should have just, you should have just done an exchange. Like, okay, um, bring it back. 
Because, like, that's what I don't get. Because I feel like you're kind of cheating the system. If you, like... I almost showed the address because I was just too lazy <laughs> to, like, rip it off. So it's just, like, I feel like it's kind of cheating the system. If you can just... You can do that with all items, like, refund them, and, like, you know, they don't, like, require you to return it. Like, I, I honestly kind of don't like that. So. Here it is, finally. Here's in the correct size. The... They just announced new shirts. A few days ago. Whoops. Whoa. Well, I didn't know that smooth. I I just updated this to iOS 14. Despite being on an iPhone 6S Plus. <laughs> I, I don't know. Honestly. Well, yeah. That's definitely a lot smoother. Honestly, it's like. Yeah, I am kind of at the point where it's like, I kind of do need to upgrade my phone, but at the same time, it's like, I don't want to lose the headphone jack, but I'm honestly fine with going with, um, wireless headphones. I'm honestly probably not going to, I'm probably going to go for third-party ones, though, not, like, AirPods, because those are too mainstream. But now it's too dark. <laughs> but... Um, yep, I finally actually obtained this shirt now, which is neat after technically having it in a bag for a week. I don't believe this shirt has a backside, but yeah, the new shirts they have include, um, they put up some O's shirts for its 10th anniversary, then they just put up like a random assortment, which included like Amazon, Omega, and Alpha. I don't know if Zarkin wants to go for that. Again, these are $30 shirts. I don't think it's worth it. That's why my sister called it a waste of money. But, <laughs> um, Or these she specifically called a waste of money. Everything, like, she knows that everything I get is a waste of money. But, um, uh, and then yesterday, because technically it was Gaim Day, that toy is now, like, officially calling it, um, they put out some Gaim stuff, although it, I'm not really a big fan of it because it's just, like the logo and such, but at the same time, like I like going. I'm honest. Like I think next time, whenever I don't. Know. I feel like it's gonna make more sense later, but I think Amazon's gonna become a more for you, like more of a common occurrence. <laughs> um, so I think I'm, as I stated before, I. I am definitely planning on picking up the, at least for like the Heisei 20th, I am planning on picking up Ryuki Blade and Gaim at best. Obviously I'm going to get Gaim first, but I don't know, it's just like, I don't know if it's really a good idea that I am getting $30 shirts that, uh, the print quality is like in the middle, because I, I don't remember if I actually stated this. But after my first wash with my two shirts, my 20th one, my logo shirt, that one was alright. Although there's like some clear like, I don't know what you call it, I don't remember. Those like really clear that like, some of the, like, like, I think the 20 and the 0, like, there's some black spots now, because obviously, like, the ink got washed off. But my catchphrase shirt, uh, that one, some characters are lost. And I'm not really happy about that. <laughs> Especially because these are $30 shirts, and once you wash them, they get destroyed. 
So, I know someone else um, pointed that out, but, and it seems like very few people are running into that. So it's just like, I haven't seen anyone else talk about it. So, I don't know. I, I'm going to say that's the downside with these shirts. Their, their print quality is not great. Um, that's why I'm kind of like, should I continue getting these? I want to support Team Rider. This is the only way I can because um, most of the stuff they're putting out, like most of the toys they're putting out, I either already have or they're too expensive. <laughs> expensive. Uh, so, or most of the other stuff they have, they're like, oh yeah, go to these stores. Uh, so, yeah. Um, what else was I going to say? Um, I, I was literally going to say something, but I'm too distracted at how unaligned my progress keys have been because it's like, what the heck? Like, why is Geo pushed in and x8 and build out like what happened in here that like what happened within here that they're just like not straight it's like bothering me so much that you can't even see but yeah um so can't wait for the third one which i I'm going to assume will be by the end of the month because I got it from a third party seller. I, if I did actually get it from Amazon, then I would had, then I would have gotten it. But then I'm like, it's just six more dollars for this thing. I might as well take the chance. <laughs> But yeah, um, that's basically it. Um, see when that comes around because I, again, forgot what I was going to talk about. Um, it's not, it wasn't the new Gaim announcement for sure. It wasn't that, but yeah. And one shower later, here's me wearing it. Um, obviously I think the new, like, shirt smell is interesting. You know, it's neat. Again, yeah, overall, it's, you know, a really neat shirt. I like how they actually put up one of the more recent shirts, just because, you know, they're not really as up-to-date with, or Team Murder isn't as up-to-date with shirts, obviously. Uh, so, for obvious reasons, because they essentially just have, like, premium bandai's, like, I don't want to say backload, but I think that's kind of the term, because they're just like, oh yeah, here, we have leftovers of these here, and such, but, um, I do hope this does last, because I am, obviously I'm worried that it will, like, when I wash this, all this white's going to be gone, and the good thing with this shirt is that there's, there's nothing on the back, which typically I actually do like stuff on the back, but this one, there's not. So I won't be suspected on having, getting a new shirt and then like being called out for it. <laughs> so, um, yeah. I really like how Ichigo has different color dyes. He has a different shade of red, and then Kuga is really bright, and then like Zero One's like middle, but yeah, um. Really nice shirt overall. Again, I like the attention to detail. Mask Rider Ichigo, Mask Rider Kuka, Common Rider Zero One. I really like how the fonts are actually stylized to each rider and such. Again, this the shirt overall is good. Just I wish ink quality was better because they're paying thirty dollars plus a dollar and forty nine cents. For this, and if we're giving bad quality stuff, 
What's the point? Guys, we're finally at this point. We have package number three. <laughs> I'm so excited. I did not know this was actually going to come already. Because today, well, I feel bad. Because today is my oldest brother's birthday. And mine is on Saturday. <laughs> so, I feel extremely horrible about that. But, thankfully this actually came early. Because then that means I can actually release this at the, by the end of the month. Which will be good. Um, yeah. So. <laughs> I tried to rip the label off, but I couldn't. And this is such an interesting package. But it's really obvious to why it's like this. <laughs> Let's just dig straight into it. Like, why not? And at this point, um, I won't well, see. I want to say initially, um, part two was going to have like. A Mandarake order, but because essentially these Amazon boxes have been the September unboxing, so we're just gonna stick with that. So sadly, um, part two is part two is not gonna include um the Mandarake order that we got. <laughs> um, whoa. Wait a minute. <laughs> I didn't know I can change that to black again. Um, I know I've already, I'm going to explain this a lot, but this is on... You know, I recently updated the iPhone. <laughs> iPhone. I recently updated the iOS. 14 and such so still trying to understand a few things because honestly I didn't really look into it that much but I know you guys might be wondering like what the heck is this thing why is it in this and it's just like I don't know <laughs> but uh yeah so I think by the time I'm like doing this uh or the by the time this gets released, I think part two is going to get released on my birthday, because honestly, it's just the that video. Excuse me, <laughs> that video has unboxings from Jan or not January, guys, from July to August, and honestly, it's just like I I should honestly just get those out, but. Come on, let's crack this open. <laughs> oh, shoot. <laughs> Invoice. Tax. Okay, $30. Well, it says... For the... <laughs> I know, like, I'm gonna explain it later, but... I'm gonna see if it was actually worth it. Oh my gosh, it feels like it feels like I literally got this directly. I like this authentic packaging. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I like authenticity. As I struggle. <laughs> I'm honestly really psyched right now. It's just like, I know, I know, like you, I know you're, gosh, <sighs> I know you're probably wanting Power Rider. What's more exciting than a spinning sword or 
a shirt. <laughs> wow. Let me tell you this, viewer. As oh my gosh. What the heck? Why? Oh, what the heck? I don't know what this is. <laughs> I got another. I got a. Oh, wait. Yeah, what is this? <laughs> Let's look into the photo card. I don't know what this photo card is. It, it's not. Is this a thing that the seller just provided? How much of these are there? It's just the one? No, there's four. Huh. Wait, what is this? <laughs> Wait. Oh, wait. What are these photo cards from? <laughs> um. Thanks? Um. <laughs> Thanks! <laughs> Obviously, this is the big thing we have. I have finally obtained... Well, it will be explained later, but I finally obtained... My first... <laughs> Girls' Generation slash SNSD are... I grew up with that nasty. Mr. Mister. Um, I absolutely love this album. And to um, prep myself for this, I actually, I actually sat through and listened to the entire album, and I absolutely love it. Like, cause I only at, cause before, then I only knew Mr. Mister and Soul, cause Soul. The soul here is the Korean version of Find Your Soul, because that song was originally Ta Chinese. Ta what was it? Was I was I going to say Taiwanese? Um, that song was originally. Ta So, um, I actually listened to Goodbye Euro <laughs> Utopia, um, Europe Euro Europa, wait a minute, and Back Hugged, and I, I just absolutely love this mini album as a whole. So, yeah, I think at this point, because it came, like, near my birthday week, I'm just going to claim this as my main birthday item. <laughs> so. See, okay, what I was actually initially expecting, because they said that Saturday, September 5th. Okay, this is the sad thing. So we got this, we bought this on my brother's, my other, my, my older brother's birthday. And I received it on my oldest brother's birthday. I feel so horrible. Uh, yeah, just the extra photo cards. <laughs> um, I'm really not familiar with these photo cards. <laughs> um, nice bonus, but so what? That was like two weeks. That's not bad. Honestly, it's kind of nice because I'm too used to DHL of like, hey, look, I'm here before you even purchased. <laughs> so, like, yeah, you have to pay for shipping, but I'm like, oh, oh, well, it says it's gonna come with extra photo card or like extra gifts. So I'm like, sure, <laughs> but.
I really don't know where these photo cards came from. Is this from Lionheart? Are these even official? <laughs> uh, I... I don't know, I'll... I'm gonna assume Lionheart, cause I know... I was gonna say Sonny had red hair, but... Sony, Sohan has it. Again, thanks. <laughs> but yeah, I'm I'm pretty psyched. <laughs> so, uh, but I can't reveal this to Twitter until the video comes out. Gosh darn it. Well, um. Anyways, this video was pretty fun. <laughs> it was pretty fun to do, although, like, it wasn't supposed to be long. <laughs> it was supposed to be at least, like, a half an hour, but it's not. So, uh, I guess that'll be it. Well, I'm gonna say though, um, before this video ends, there's like an entirely other half because you're probably looking at the duration. Like, power, this video is like an hour and like 30. Yeah. <laughs> so, I'm technically not out because there's like an, there's like an entire other half you have to watch. So, enjoy me from... Was it two weeks ago or last week? Who knows? <laughs> Hello, people. This is Power Rider. I don't know why I'm reintroducing myself. <laughs> it's like, no, duh. Hold on, just let me adjust this thing. I'll just restart. <laughs> okay, so this is going to be a part of the. This is a bonus thing for the mystery unboxing thing because it's it's still from Amazon. I'm not showing the front because I did a poor job at ripping it. Um, but so I I don't know. This unboxing wasn't initially supposed to be this long. <laughs> it wasn't supposed to take its own like this video wasn't supposed to be its own thing. Because this video was supposed to be, like, another, like, dumb unboxing kind of thing, where, like, I'll just do, like, do stupid edits, or i do, like, stupid quick edits and just do, say, like, dumb nonsense, but then it became its own video because, you know, obviously I got, uh, I got this. <laughs> so, like, it's like, well, this isn't, like, unnecessary, oh, it is unnecessary, but it's, like, it's not, like, oh, yeah, I want that because that's dumb. <laughs> Or, I was like, you know what, like, I want that because, you know, stupidity. But, um, basically, because at this point, already, I'm planning on putting this near the end, um, obviously, um, I still have it here. Here's my Beast X King Spin Saver. Beast, Beast X King Spin Saver. Um, I'm... I guess I should put in perspective. Um, I still have not yet received my um, shirt. It's as of this recording, I only have the small one still. Um. Oops. <laughs> so, and obviously with the third one, I've yet to receive. I still have yet to receive Mister Mister because. Zreiken so said that's coming out in October, apparently. So, initially I wanted to put this at the end of September. But, I... I guess I can't. <laughs> uh, I don't know how things are going to go. So, basically, um... I'm going to say that's going to come like in, within the next two weeks or so. Kind of best. But... So... 
This one wasn't, again, planned. But then I I needed to jump on it because it was like, oh shoot, I didn't know it would be out already. So, you know, as I mentioned it before, um, Josh put up a tweet of the link for Beast X King Red. And obviously that's like the last basic figure I need because I'm not sure if we're going to get into Wave 6 for Beast Morphers. I doubt it. So... That was on Thursday, I believe. Today is Tuesday. Um, today's the 15th. Even though this is kind of so, like, I apologize if this is getting released out of order. Or this is getting put out of order. I, honestly, I just want to put the, like, mystery stuff front and center. And then these stuff I'm going to tweet out. And then Twitter's going to be confused. Uh, for sure. But, um... So, uh, when Josh tweeted that, I immediately, like, sent it to Zraiken, and I was like, shoot, or, like, I'm like, I just sent it to him, but then, I thought he was upstairs, but then it turns out he was downstairs, so I quickly went upstairs to, like, do something quickly, and then, like, I quickly went back downstairs to, like, meet up with Zraiken, I was like, Oh, I didn't know you were still down here and such. So, like, basically, and, like, because before, and then he, he, like, replied to me, like, why is this so cheap? And I'm, like, it's retail price. <laughs> so, like, so, oh, gosh, what did I do to my fingernail? Huh. It, that's going to suck with this finger, because it was actually nice having long nails again well, on my two of my fingers at least but anyways uh, I think this is what I get for trying to rip the labels off but so basically um I think at the time there was only like three available so I was like I kind of want to like, quickly get on with it but then like uh Zarekin was like telling me stuff like about like our other pre-orders which I will explain that in the pre-orders video <laughs> because I'm a mess with videos because obviously at this point I still have yet to open the Slash Riser. I'm actually kind of tempting to, but especially because of what happened. Uh, so it's just like, I feel like I need to really get things on over with. But so, uh... We weren't quick enough and it sold out, so I was like, gosh, like, that that really sucks. But then, luckily, the next day, it went back up at its retail price. Because, basically, so because those three that were basically affiliated by Amazon sold out, it was only by third-party sellers. And it was like twenty five to thirty dollars. I'm like, no way. Uh, but luckily, it went back on Amazon, and I was like, okay. Um, because of one thing didn't work out, um, I really want to try to get this figure. <laughs> he was like, oh, okay. Then, then you have anything else in mind? And I sent him another link <laughs> to another thing. So. Let's just get that over with. Um, I'm trying to keep myself together because I'm like, I know what's... I'm like, the package is like really hefty. There's no... I don't know, this is... See, this is why I'm like... The fact I'm getting this first before Mr. Mr. is sad. <laughs> but... I don't know. <laughs> My stomach. Ow. Ow. <laughs> Shoot, I'm having a cramp. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Ow. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I feel so bad for whoever fulfilled this. <laughs> Okay, so the person that, like, 
I'm keeping this box in here. Okay, so the person that like did this just like slapped it in there. Yeah. <laughs> so <sighs> I hate Amazon packing so much, but uh it's not bad. But <laughs> Um, yeah, so here he is, Beastex, King Red. Um, oh gosh, <laughs> this figure, ah, uh, it, it's unique. I'm, I'm fine with this power up. It's just the quality of these figures have dropped so significantly. It's just like, Hasbro, what the heck? What the heck, Hasbro? <laughs> I was going to say Amazon, but I'm like, wait, no, this is not an Amazon exclusive. Um, uh, uh, honestly, if I had to be honest, this is, this is fine. <laughs> but, it's, I'm, I, I'd rather deal with creases than like, Where's Vargo now? Like, I'd rather deal with, like, these type of creases than, like, something like this. Oh, okay, this was me, but... Something like... To the point it starts ripping it? This is... This, I don't like. But... Actually... Well, Steel's the worst one I got, because he was already opened. But, uh, um, eh. Okay, so let's get here for, like, so obviously I got this one for, like, retail price at best. Or, retail price, obviously. But then because, you know, I had to, like, why don't you want to stand? Okay, so basically because I wanted to fill this out, <laughs> I wanted to fill something else out with this because I was like, well, I can't just ship this by itself. So I had to get another thing. So I just got this instead. Because why not? It's really, it's more thinner than I thought it was. Oh my gosh. <sighs> I feel so bad because it's not... When I get Mr. Mister, it's not going to be genuine. <laughs> Man. <laughs> That's why I was like, should I wait several weeks to open this box? So then I can... Leave this over here. So then it can be, like, authentic? Or should I, like... Just deal with it now? Because I don't know where this is going to go, by the way. Um... <laughs> But yeah, um, technically by this recording, I actually finally own my f my first official Korean album because um like <sighs> to catch all you people up. Oh, actually, you know what? I'm gonna hold this for whenever I get Mister Mister because. So then, this can just get over with, because again, like, my mind's all over the place, because it's like, okay, like, in editing, this is going to be the last part, or actually, second to last part, if things go well. This is going to be the second to last part, and I don't want this video to run an hour, because then people are just going to be like, why did you talk so long about... Because I was... Oh, by the state, yesterday... My Sengoku driver opening got put out, and I watched it over, and I'm like, I, I'm i pretty sure I repeated the same statement like three times about how endeared Dime is to me. I'm just like, oh my gosh, my, my head is all over the place. So, I'm not going to repeat myself, but I think to remind myself... Whenever I get Mr. Mister, make sure I go over my history. Okay, I have to make sure I have to go over 
a brief history of what my brief history of K-pop, which you can watch that in my I don't know in the second channel. <laughs> so and like uh, what else do I have to mention? <laughs> I know, like, this is weird for you, for the viewer to, like, hear me try to think of what I'm going to talk about by a part that you already watched. So, it's just, like, uh, yeah. So, okay, let me take a look at this. What's the track? Oh, I know the track list. This is a repackage. Oh, okay, so this is the repackage of the third album, which I actually technically, um, wanted. Because The Boys was like the first like music video I actually watched from them <laughs> because because uh uh oh wait I'll wait uh, I'll let it wait until I explain myself I'm getting ahead of myself but basically um so Mr Taxi is the repackage of The Boys which they all they did. Is that they made Mr. Taxi the first track. <laughs> they made Mr. Taxi the first track. And they added the English version of the boys. That's that's all it. <laughs> like as a repackage. Maybe it's because I'm really spoiled by how Super Junior does it, which could be possible. Yeah, that's like really lacking for like new tracks, honestly. Like, what's the point of repackaging it? Repackaging it. But, but, because Amazon doesn't have the Korean version of The Boys, they only have the US version, which obviously I will possibly pick that up, even though it's just a jewel case. I have to get some representation of The Boys. <laughs> so, because Amazon didn't have the Korean version, I was just like, and honestly, I'm like, I like this, I like this aesthetic better. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, gosh. Um, so, I'm not, I don't want to dive into it that much, but I like the concept of Mr. Taxi a lot better, and I'm just, like, I somewhat, like, this one, I did not look into the contents of it, because uh, I try to actually at least be, like, surprised. I looked into it a bit, and I'm like, yeah, I'm definitely getting this one. <laughs> uh, Mr. Mister... Oh, I, I'm probably, again, I'm probably going to repeat myself when I, when that part, in that part, but Mr. Mr., I did look into it because I was actually kind of like, I was, because I was like, uh, should I really, like, I'm like, really, should I really go for this? Should I not and such? <laughs> for, like, specific reasons that I'm, will announce later. So... Like, M Mr. Mister, I had to, like, at least, I had, to, I had to, like, look into just to, like, make sure. And I was like, okay. Um, well, no, I wasn't, not that attitude. But, <laughs> so, Mr. Mister, I was like, okay, it doesn't have what I'm looking for exactly, but I still look like this album. So, I, obviously, that's why I got it. Mr. Taxi, um, unlike Mr. Mister, where I actually prepped myself by actually listening to the entire album, I have, I, I didn't listen to the album yet, because <laughs> obviously I got this for, well, I only got this for, I only listened to, yeah, I've only listened to the boys, and obviously the English version, and... Uh, the Korean version of Mr. Taxi. Uh. <laughs> Though I guess I'll say what's better from the Korean version. I like this. I like. <laughs> oh gosh, this sound insane. <laughs> I wonder how, like, people are just gonna be, like, 
power literally like cut himself mid-sentence and just started laughing. I'm I'm feeling insecure. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so uh I'm I'm gonna try to stop this at 20 minutes. So yeah. Um Yeah, basically I got Mr. Taxi because I like it visually. <laughs> so, uh, I don't know which one I'm going to get next, honestly. Because I'm actually kind of thinking Run Devil Run, but then it's just like... Do I really want to keep asking Zryken to get these for me? Because I really, I really don't want to, because I feel really bad, <laughs> because I'm like... These are stuff I should be getting with my own money because I'm at the point where I'm just like, I just want to like actually buy something on my own and be like, I'm just going to grab this, but I'm not. Like, I just want to like grab something and be like, yes, I bought this with my own money and I'm happy about it. Instead of being like, yeah, I made so I can pay for this. <laughs> Now, I know, like, to people, you might be wondering, like, why exactly do you make sure I can buy everything for you? Um, <clears throat> well, it's just because he's, like, I'm, I don't want to go deep into this, because it's, it's not personal, but it's just, like, this is, like, kind of my barrier and stuff, but it's just, like, you know, like, Zarkin is, like, willing to, like, he's, like, just willing to, like, do it, because, obviously, it's, like, he's... You know, he's the one making money and such, so he doesn't really mind. While with me, it's just like... I kind of don't want to keep constantly, like, obviously taking his money. And it's just like... I obviously, like, because... Like, basically... I guess this is kind of weird to explain, but like... Because I only have a savings account. I don't have a checking account because my mom was like... Oh yeah, you don't need one yet. <laughs> so... Um, well, I guess to summarize my bank account, it's locked. I can't access it at all, um, because we had a phone, home, home phone number, but we cut that off, so that means we can't access my account because I linked my account to that phone number, <laughs> so, and, like, technically the way to, like, verify it is that they need to, like, they either need to call through that number, and we cut it off, so I... My account's in limbo, just like my City Wars account. <laughs> but yeah, definitely, like, like, obviously I'll be responsible, but, like, because my, because my savings account has been sitting there for, like, an entire year. I wonder how much money I'm making out of that. <laughs> but it's just, like, I just, you know, I really want to actually, like, get stuff I, well, like, I will allow Zarykin to take care of, like, the Toku stuff. Like, imports. But with, like, other stuff, I want to take care of that. Or, like, with things that, like, that are out of Zarykin's reach, I guess. Like, honestly, it's just, like, I don't want to, like, constantly put it on him. I, because I really want to, like, take the, you know. Like, I just want to, like... Use my own money to actually say, like, oh, yeah, these are mine. Because it's like, yes, I can say, oh, these are mine, but Zryken paid for all of this. <laughs> and such. Like, literally, my whole entire toy collection is, like, I'm going on a rant now, but my whole entire toy collection was either purchased by my parents, my sister, or Zryken. <laughs> it's just, like, the only, as I stated before, the only thing I genuinely actually paid with my own money were the were the rest other rest of the jewel changers because i technically because i have like i have coins too so like the last time i actually like had a, enough coins we went to the bank we deposited them um something happened because i dumped too much coins and <laughs> so or i put in too much coins in too quickly so like they had to like literally unscrew the machine and just you know do stuff about that so like uh 
That was a lot, so like, I think that was around like $103 or so, and then like, we transferred that to my sister's account. This was 2016, 2017? Yeah. So, we transferred that money to my sister's account, and then like, our, the initial plan my sister and I had was that we were going to actually order from G-Market, so then I can get the Courage of Brave stuff, because I was going to get the Gabri Gabri Changer, or the Gabri Gabri Revolver, and the two Jujenti set. Judenchi sets and yeah but then like my sister like last minute changed was like actually never mind let's just order off of Amazon and I was like oh okay and then when she was telling my mom about it she was like oh we're gonna order from this Korean store I'm like did you say we're gonna order from Amazon it's like oh you want to do that then like that's what you said <laughs> so like and then I got the other like Jill Jewel drew changers for like thirty dollars each, I believe. They're, they're new, like twenty five, thirty at best. Wow. <laughs> so, well, oh my god, that's so that's all right, honestly. And then at that point, that's when the first lines of the camera but got busted when I got the whale change gun and the jewel changer final, cause literally I had the tripod like this. And then my sister, like, I was going to go and, like, do something, but then my sister was there. I think she was walking. And then the camera falls, and then, like, she blamed me for getting this lens stuck, which, yeah, I guess that is my fault. But then she was be she was right next to it, too. It's both of our faults. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> um, um, before I actually end this, uh... I'm sorry for going into ra that rant, but, like, basically, I guess to conclude, it's just, like, I actually genuinely really want to start buying my own stuff. Because I'm so, I'm just sick of, like, having the burden of, like, dragging all these, like, constantly losing money. <laughs> and it's just, like, man, if only I was able to do something. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, I don't know what else Amazon really has. Problems. I, I was gonna. Is that the disc? Huh, that's concerning. <laughs> oh, but, um, opening of that. Obviously, that'll be on the second channel because that this will be going through the page throughs. Because, um, I'll explain it, Mister Mister. Hopefully, <laughs> um, so, uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I'm aware, oh, uh, never mind, I, I'll keep it for Mr. Mister. <laughs> I need to contain myself, um, I don't, Amazon's like an alright place, so I'm just gonna say, like, Amazon's a good starting place, but please actually, like, go to other stores that, like, specifically sell, like, Korean albums, like, please. Um, <laughs> uh, there's this other store I initially was looking into, it was HM, well, it was HMV Japan, um, because they actually sell used Korean albums and such. I, like, because, okay. I don't know if I was going to explain this to Mr. Mr. If I am, I'm sadly going to explain it again, but, um, my first initial picks, or my, my choice, like, what I wanted initially from, like, my first Korean album, at, because, obviously, it's almost been a year since I've fully con capsulized my uh, relapse on K-pop. I'll ex again, okay, keep that in mind, me. Explain that when I get Mr. Mister. <laughs> so, it's been almost a year, or it's actually been a year already, but I mean, like, it's almost been a year since I've, like, actually, like, only slowly focused on girl groups. Again, um, stay tuned for part two of the final overview. <laughs> so, Obviously, the first girl group I was looking into was 4-Minute, and I actually wanted to get um, 2 Yoon's mini-album, and I wanted um, 
their third mini album, What's My Name? No, Four Minute is the name. And um, Crazy? I wanted those three first. <laughs> but then, obviously because those are in a... I'm not really sure how that site works. I've been trying to look. I tried to look into how it worked. I couldn't really find anything. So again, if this goes back to the thing of like, if I actually had my own money, yeah, I'll definitely experiment with that. But honestly, because like with Reichen, it's just like I'm not gonna deal with it. <laughs> I'm not gonna let. I'm I'm not gonna let him. Or I shouldn't let him deal with it. So. Whenever I can actually get a checking account, I think that's going to be the first thing I, I I'll do, honestly. Uh, <clears throat> but then, because SNSD, or, yeah, SNSD was on Girls, was on Girls Trick. <laughs> because they were on Amazon, I was just like, oh, sure, yeah, I, I guess those would be the first ones I'll pick up. <laughs> But, yeah. Um, I'm sorry that this is... Like, 30 minutes worth of this video. <sighs> Why is this mysterious unboxing? The length of a like, normal unboxing. I feel so bad. <laughs> it was a... I was actually shooting for this to be an hour, but I feel like it's going to be an hour and a half because this is literally like almost 30 minutes. <sighs> um, but yeah, again, I think because of how it depends whenever I can get Mr. Mister. But then, if I don't get Mr. Mister by the time another thing comes in, I'm going to throw that other thing at the end of this one. So, yeah, that'll do for sure. Um, I wonder how Twitter's going to react to They're not going to react to me at all. They don't. <laughs> so, yeah, um, I'm, I guess I'll open this one first, just because, like, am I really going to wait? Am I really going to wait several weeks to open this? Yep, I am. It's here. <laughs> um, I'm surprised the label took the tape. I'm, I'm honestly surprised by that, but... Um, today, to give you perspective, is September 29th. Last week, September 22nd. I got uh, Mr. Mister. <laughs> so I just find it funny. There's this, I don't know. Essentially, I've been getting things like every Tuesday at best. Um, <clears throat> or like Amazon stuff. I'll either get like on Tuesday, which is just funny. But yeah, uh, this is the last thing out of. September <laughs> because uh well I'll admit as I've constantly stated before this video was not meant to be an hour and a half <laughs> it was supposed to be like at best 30 minutes but because when I got Beast X Red and Mr. Taxi, I just went on and on because, um, you know, I was just like, whatever, I guess. <clears throat> but then, um, yeah, this one, I, I don't think it will be a surprise at this point because it's just like, yeah, that's kind of expected of you at this point, <laughs> but... This was a thing, like, to give you, <clears throat> again, give you a, what's the word, a perspective, I guess, no, oh, well, I'm gonna use that word, uh, so I can pre-order this in July, <laughs> so, 
if you take that in mind, we got this when I got Beast Dex Yellow, and I think my two writer shirts, I think that's when we got this. Initially, I thought Zraken didn't actually pre-order this, because <clears throat> I thought he told me, like, oh yeah, I'm probably going to hold it off until next month. I was like, oh, okay then. I was like, that's fine. <laughs> And then when we went on Amazon again, like, in August, that, well, when we did, no, not when we started the stupid, uh, <laughs> not when we started the mysterious, uh, not when we started this video, essentially, but it was before that, but I, I don't recall what I, I don't recall what I got on Amazon. <laughs> I don't, cause... <sighs> was it? Gosh, I don't remember. Cause I remember this order specifically was mostly of Zriken stuff. Trying to look around the room just to see if I can, like, anything hits me. Well, the thing, too, is that what are you. Part 2 doesn't even have. It only has one Amazon package, but that was from July. <laughs> so. <clears throat> Could have been this one? But that, that took place in September. We did an Amazon order in August. Uh, I don't remember. <laughs> so, anyways. Uh, so it was around that month too. That I like asked Zarkin again about this. And, and, but then he like told him like, I already got it. I was like, and like he showed me everything. I was like, oh, 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 okay. <laughs> I I must have misheard you. And <laughs> so or something, cause I didn't even see him add it to the cart <laughs> and such. But he he said he got it. I was like, oh. Okay then. <laughs> so obviously then. I had to wait another month. <laughs> so, let's let it rip. Um, I'm, I don't know how exactly this is gonna go. I'm surprised this is in a box. It's like Amazon cares. <laughs> What if this is the wrong item? I'm <laughs> just making a fool out of myself. I will laugh entirely because um that no that did happen to me last year with what was that? <laughs> what was the title of my last birthday unboxing called? I got, cause this was an Amazon order where I got like wave three of beast morphers and then like three ride watches, <laughs> uh, three, like I got genius, Miteki and Kiwami. Speaking of Kiwami, um, if I can dig quickly, uh, it's genius, uh, is there another comic? Oh yeah. Um, So, I discovered this a few months ago, and I forgot to charge my phone before I recorded, but oh well. But, my Kiwami, his, the, the top layer sticker, it actually started, like, flailing off, 
as you can see now it's like you know it's not um sitting flat anymore which it really disappoints me <laughs> definitely so what i plan on doing i might i might well what I plan on doing is that I might pick up another Kiwami Ride Watch, Kiwami Arms Ride Watch, off of Mandarake, because it's like 400, and replace the plate. But then it's like, I don't know what I'm going to do with the extra. Because <laughs> obviously no one wants to have a... Well, okay, but yeah, I know like some people can, are going to be like, well, I don't really mind, but then like, you know, I have to like know that or something. But yeah, that's kind of why I actually wanted to start putting these on a Dizer, or a Dizer, because I'm like, I don't want my ride watches to be ruined. As I, you know, try to put them back the way they were on the box. But yeah, um, let's get to this because it's going to be a minute 35 from now. Look at this packing. Jeez. <laughs> wow, thanks Amazon for putting this in a book. What? <laughs> I meant, thank you Amazon for putting it in the box. I thought you were going to put it in a mailer. Because my... Oh my gosh, I just spoiled it. <laughs> I made my brother... Alright, of course brother. I made Zriken pre-order Shine for me. <laughs> um, because I was like... Because during... um. June, July, when I was, like, actually, like, looking into SNSD, like, actually looking into them, <laughs> like, not, like, just looking at them from, like, a bleak point of view, and being, like, yeah, I remember this and this and this, but, eh, like, actually, oh, I don't know how to phrase it, actually going in depth with them, yeah, that makes sense. I figured, like, you know, because, did I explain this before? No, this is getting explained in the page through of Mr. Mister. Oh, I'll explain it here. So basically, like, at least a time frame of this, um, so it was last August that I actually started to um have a relapse on k-pop <laughs> and because i was like oh yeah i can just use it for the final overview i snatched it <laughs> and um for at least like august and september i was listening to dbsk and super junior August, yeah, August and September, and then October, I actually started to look into girl groups, because that will get explained in Final Overview Part 2, which should be coming out the second half of October. <laughs> but I'm going to spoil it a bit here. So, in October, I decided to look into 4-Minute, then I looked in, then I was, like, invested in 4-Minute for, like, 6 months at best. So, like, October through, like, April, like, the beginning of April. And then I invested into FX for, like, two months. And then near the end of May, I got myself to SNSD. And here we are now. And obviously, because I was looking into the members and such, I saw that Jessica was having a book. And I was like... Sure, I will, I will support you by getting your book, despite, like, not knowing you at all, but, um, 
Okay, yeah, now I actually have to think what I'm going to say because I don't want to um, say something wrong and then get blasted for it. <laughs> so, I will admit, it's kind of wrong of me of getting this, of like, technically like early like investment because it's just like, you know, it's just, it's kind of like, you're getting a book from a stranger kind of thing <laughs> but i was like you know what i'm confident enough it's like only 18 dollars i'm getting this and yeah <laughs> so i have a novel hard cover i was going to knock it i like how this is um i not i haven't done a book review it's been a, it's been two years since I actually gotten a novel. Because the last novel I've gotten was Ready Player One, when the movie was like, you know, gonna be in theaters and such. It was at least. I think I already got it like that, um, <laughs> but. So, it was at least... Can I say 2017? Uh, I'm going to say fall of 2017 for sure. But then... It wasn't until a year later... The next school year that I actually read Ready Player One because I had nothing to do back then or like at the time because like you know I was just like wow I actually wow as a junior I have so much free time I can actually do things so I actually just read Ready Player One and I was just like man I can totally like get into this book and such. Like, yeah, I mostly got the book because, like, Ultraman and Tokusatsu was in it, but I... I enjoyed it overall. I thought some segments were really weird at best. <laughs> like... Like, yes, I... It's just, like... To me, personally, because I am big on to, like... You know, like, pop culture, like, stuff from, like... From like the 60s through like 90s and such. Like so it's kind of up my alley. But at the same time it's just like I do understand that like. It might seem like very cheeky at best. And honestly I think I do kind of want to reread re re it. Just to see if it's actually as good as it is. Is this like. Okay it's just that. I thought I was like. Im embroiled <laughs> embodied <laughs> embossed but anyways and apparently there's a sequel coming out i'm like oh okay then i might pick that up <laughs> that's if i actually do read this on time but uh other than that i still haven't seen the movie at all apparently this is getting a movie and apparently there's a sequel already <laughs> so i'm like uh, the sequel is named Bright, and I'm just like, oh, okay. <laughs> <clears throat> so, yeah. Uh, other than that, um, this is interesting for sure. Is there anything included? <laughs> I don't know for sure. I I don't know how you do a review on a book. Like I just don't know how. This was nineteen dollars. But yeah, um, I have a. <clears throat> I'm happy to own this. <laughs> um. I did hear some things about, like, the other covers and such, and, it, and, it, and that, and, like, the, I think one of the, like, one of the covers, the Brazilian cover, having some references to SNSD, which, 
I was able to catch it right away, because I'm like... Oh. Okay, I can I can see where that came from and such, and... I think because of legal reasons, they had to get rid of it. Uh, so, yeah. Um, that's essentially it for this. <laughs> Nothing spectacular or anything. Uh, I'm I'm not going to do a page through, because it's just like... I, I don't know how you're supposed to do a page through on a novel. <laughs> but... I, I have a... I was going to actually explain what the book was about, but at the same time, I'm not very clear on what it's about either. <laughs> I... What I know is that it's essentially about the K-pop industry, which is like... I'm well aware of it too, just because of like... Like, you know, like, if you're like... No, knew about it for like 13 plus years it's just like you kind of know the ins and out of it so yeah i think this video just became an hour and 40 <laughs> so that's great um i'm not gonna get any response out of twitter at all because <laughs> they're just like whatever and gosh <clears throat> Yeah, uh, again, thanks Amazon for actually putting it in a box. <laughs> Probably because it's hardcover, but, um, yeah, I, again, I wasn't expecting this to be here already, but I guess because it already came in the faculties and all they had to do was just ship it out and such, so, thank you, Amazon. <laughs> Speaking of you, Amazon, um. I'll keep this, actually, yeah, because, I'll admit, like, because I'm starting, I'm already started to, f I am already starting to film next month's unboxing, <laughs> so it's just, like, it's, I'm so confused of what I should talk about, what I should not, <laughs> but, yeah, uh, that'll have to do for this video, thank you guys for five years on the main channel. I really do hope you guys did enjoy the throwback videos, the original versions of some videos, uh, my, my uh, Sengoku Driver review that um, I really do hope people, I really do hope people know that I did not have a Sengoku driver for ever since 2015. <laughs> I feel like that might be the way on Twitter because I didn't. I was supposed to drop my. I was supposed to drop on Twitter that like, oh yeah, the mystery thing I got was the Sengoku driver, but I just didn't because I forgot. Um, I'm gonna try to unveil the th my three items, but I, I don't think. It'll get anything out of Twitter. <laughs> like, like people aren't going to be like, really? You got the Beast X King sword? <laughs> the Beast X King spin saber? But, yeah. Um, I guess I'm just going to say, like, I. For, I'm just going to say, like, I think for flagship birthday items of this year, or this month, yeah, year. It's going to be Mr. Mister in this because this came like three days after my birthday and I'm like, yeah, I'll, I'll take a novel. Am I really going to leave it in the box? <laughs> uh, before I go, um, this might be redundant because I might have updated myself on part two because I took an hour just to sit here to talk, uh, but next month is kind of in limbo because, like, I'm gonna quickly try to schedule out videos because I really don't know what's going on. <laughs> uh, expect a lot of backlog 
unboxing and builds or unboxing slash openings and builds uh and i think october might be monday wednesday friday because of how limited i am on videos because i'm actually writing out a content yay <laughs> so um yeah this is power editor and i'll leave you people sorry for making a what was initially supposed to be a dumb video a typical unboxing so yeah you can say that september had two unboxings <laughs>